Gents, I just want to pause the episode for a moment to let you know about the Strong Men of Value Academy. You will have heard me refer to it a number of times and I want to bring more attention to it. So this isn't just a program. It's a life-changing environment and community of men who are focused on personal and professional growth. We're looking at areas of relationships, wealth and health, things to help you thrive and maximize your life. Imagine having bi-monthly one-on-one coaching sessions with myself, weekly group coaching calls, and an incredible brotherhood of high achievers by your side. Now we're diving into resilience, leadership, and holistic growth to not just succeed in your career, but to thrive in your health and your relationships. Your journey to greatness, it starts here. So join the movement and you can apply for the Strong Men of Value Academy. You can head to the manthatcanproject.com to find out more. You're listening to The Man That Can Project with Lockie Stewart, a global movement created to empower men and open up what's really going through their minds by having real and raw conversations about life's unique challenges and our individual ways of processing it all. Welcome to The Man That Can Project. Welcome back, gents, to another episode of the Man That Can Project podcast. I'm your host, Lockie Stewart, and I'm the founder and CEO of the Man That Can Project, and super excited for this episode. So this week, we don't have a guest. I hope you got a lot out of last week's episode. Well, I know you guys got a lot out. We had a heap of uh, messages around the conversation uh, topic of toxic masculinity, where we had a few men from the Man That Can Project's community share their perspectives and insight, which was awesome to uh, to be involved in that conversation. I think, you know, not only myself, all the guys took away a new uh, understanding and appreciation for what it means for people and why people have come to those conclusions based off their own life experiences, which is fucking awesome. So before we dive into today's episode, I want to remind you guys that we have launched the Man That Can Project in a circle, right? It is uh, the place where we can help you get kicked off with a 12-week game plan and really launch work towards your goals and create some more momentum, meaning, and mateship in your life. It is a fucking phenomenal community. We've already got 21 blokes in there, and it is going to continue to keep booming and thriving as more and more blokes take ownership of their life. So look forward to seeing you guys in there. If you want to find out more, head over to the man at camproject.com forward slash inner circle, or you can just head to the homepage. You'll be able to find it there. Super simple. And I have just got back from a wicked, uh, really, really fun couple of days camping over at Stradbroke Island. Uh, and now a little bit sun-kissed and uh, ready to rip back into into some work. <clears throat> but this topic came up a few times last week and I, I jotted it down and it was really something I wanted to talk about because I think I'm very outspoken when it comes to this, because I don't like telling people what to do, and I am also someone who really likes to pre-frame well before I speak so people understand the context uh, behind which I'm coming from and why I'm saying certain things. And the, the, the topic of discussion today, or not even discussion because I'm talking it for myself, is that life is fucking hard and we need to toughen up. We need to be more resilient. And if you stay with me, before making jumping to assumption or saying "fuck you, lucky" or "yeehaw, lucky," whatever it is that you're, you're you're thinking at this point in time, is that we need to understand what context "toughen up" means, and it's something that I've you know lived by for a long time, and I've learned so many things from it. And also, you know, well, let's just say there's some pros and definitely some cons to this belief and I guess the stereotypical understanding as to what that phrase toughen up means. But let's just quickly, before we dive in, understand that we are probably the most unhealthy, unhappy, unfulfilled, disconnected emotionally population that has ever lived, ever walked the planet. And some people can't accept that. It's really easy, right? And I'm, I'm currently reading through the uh, seven habits of highly effective people and this sort of really stuck out at me. There's three kinds of, I guess, levels of progression in real life, right? There's dependent, where you 
You, know, you can look for everyone to be responsible for you. Therefore, you can also look to blame everyone else and everything else, okay, as to why things may be going well for you or why things may not be going well for you. From that, we can then go into a process uh, called independent, right, where we start understanding and accepting responsibility for our own actions, sorry, and creating success for ourselves. And, you know, not looking to blame others, looking to take responsibility and take ownership, which I think is amazing. And then we look at interdependence, where we know myself, you know, yourself and the collective around you are responsible. So you're working together, it's that leadership mindset, bringing people with you uh, to get there. And there are a lot of people, right, who lack resilience, who lack strength, and they are still looking to blame people as to why their life isn't quite turning out how it, they, you know, they first thought. Right? We've got more challenges than ever before in human history. And obviously, the, the rapid rate in which technology is advancing is also, uh, you know, it's unseen. And, you know, it's easy to go, oh, fuck, we don't really know what's happening with that. Imagine dealing with social media. Imagine dealing with this, that, and the other. And that's cool. That's, that's fantastic. And that's probably true to a degree. But tell me how that's helping you. Because it's fucking not. And I think about this, you know, someone, I posted this in the, the Man at Camp Project's Facebook group that um, I believe we need to take more responsibility. I need believe we need to take more ownership. And someone asked me, you know, how I did that for myself and what was I doing prior to taking ownership for my life and responsibility. And the simple answer was this. I was being a victim and I was blaming everyone. When my life was shit, I would blame everyone. I could never accept responsibility. It was too fucking hard. It was maybe attacking my my perception of myself. I couldn't accept the maybe well, the truth that I wasn't quite putting in the effort and I wasn't showing up how I needed to in order to get the results that I want. But if we aren't taking ownership, guys, if we aren't being honest, and essentially when I look at that as like toughen up to me, means taking ownership, right? It means being vulnerable and accepting your strengths and accepting your weaknesses and being able to show the world, this is really me, this is where I'm at, and this is what I'm going to do to move forward. That's tough. That's really fucking tough to do, right? It means being able to build mateships. It means being able to put the work in when so many others aren't. Toughen up and put the work in. When you 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 fall short, you know, we, we look at, or I look at this, I look at, uh, you know, the fear of failure, how bad it's crippling us, especially coming out of the, the, the schooling system, right? We get graded on how well we do in an exam. And yes, if it's, if it's portrayed correctly, it's cool. This is the benchmark and this is how you can improve. But for a lot of us, we take it in a way that, oh, this is defining me as an individual, right? If I'm a, a, an average of a B grade student, that's all I am. I'm B grade. I'm not A grade. I'm subpar and I start validating those beliefs and I start getting, you know, falling behind and just sort of accepting that's where you're at rather than going, right, well, this is where I'm at and I need to toughen up and what toughen up looks like for me, well, essentially, you know, it's all relative to what you want, right? Because I want a different quality of life to most people. You need to sit there and ask yourself, what do you want? What quality of life do you want? And how tough do you need to be to get that? And when I say tough, define what that fucking looks like for you. But for me... Like I said, how vulnerable do I need to be to own up to all the shit that's going wrong, to, to accept responsibility? How tough do I need to be to grow, to, um, to persevere going after what I want? How tough do I need to be? I've defined what that looks like for me. And I've also seen you know, people, people try and compare themselves. And if you were to compare yourself to me, I could give you some direct feedback. But the, the truth is this, you guys aren't me and you guys aren't anyone else, you're uniquely you. So yeah, some people may be physically tougher, mentally tougher, emotionally tougher, financially tougher, right? but you need to work out what that looks like for you. Right? Because failure, right, and when we go back to this fear of failure and why I believe it's crippling us, it's fucking, failure provides all the lessons we need, right? all the lessons for you to become better, but it's also a bitter pill to swallow sometimes. Because failing time and time again sucks. It's not a fucking good feeling. We know that. 
But when you fail, what can you learn from that? What do you need to accept about yourself? And if you're not accepting anything about yourself, I think back to when I was taking drugs and I was cheating. For a long time, I didn't accept responsibility for it. I couldn't accept that that's how I would act or how I behave because deep down, it really didn't align with who I wanted to be and who I felt I was. But obviously, if your actions aren't congruent with um, you know, what you believe, you're just fucking out of integrity and full of shit. Right, so start thinking about, start owning the lessons, toughen up in that regard. I said, then going, okay, well, if I need to toughen up in this regard and start accepting responsibility, it means now I can start moving forward. I can start making progress. But if I don't do that, it's not possible. Because, guys, life is not going to get any easier. It doesn't fucking get easy. It's always going to be hard. Always. And you get to choose your hard. You get to choose whether you're going to accept responsibility or you're just going to fucking bathe in, in what you're accepting currently or what you're creating because you're not accepting it. So you need to work that out, gents, and this is a big thing, and I'm not going to sit over here and blanket call call things like that because, you know, even for people, if I'm having a conversation, I'm not going to tell you tough the fuck up. But if I get to know you and if I can really understand and pre-frame or understand what toughen up means for you, I'll tell you to toughen the fuck up. Because all of us need it, myself included. We all, if if you want to get more from what you yourself as an individual, whether you're your father, son, um, mate, business owner, employee, if you want to get more out of all those aspects of your life, you do need to fucking saddle up and toughen up. It's just understanding what that looks like for you. And, you know, with toughness comes, you know, like I said, that vulnerability because you can't just bottle it up. It's not fucking bottle it up. Talk about it. But also get on with it. Because if we can talk about what we're going through, we're going to gain different perspective. You might also learn that it's not the right path for you. Right? But it's tough to talk. You guys are sitting here listening to this because you know how tough it is to talk. A lot of you have probably been in similar situations to me because it's tough to talk. So therefore, it's, if it's tough to do and it's probably going to be beneficial for you, wouldn't you say that tough enough is exactly what you need to do? Learn that skill of communication, that vulnerability, that mateship. Right? Because life is hard and we need to build that resilience and we need to get tougher as individuals. We need to get tougher in believing in ourselves, in discipline. Because that's what's going to help you get to where you want, gents. So thanks for tuning in, lads. That was a short, sharp one. I am sweating up here. I think it's because I am uh, sunburned as hell. But I'm off to uh, rip in and have a great week, gents. So appreciate you guys. And if, once again, you want to look at the inner circle or even if you just want to jump in the free Facebook community for the Man That Can Project, make sure you search them up or head over to the website. Uh, and there's plenty more there. I'll check in with you soon. Have a great week. Thank you for listening to the Man That Can Project podcast. My name is Lockie Stewart and I hope you enjoyed this episode and found it helpful. If you did, please take a moment to rate and review the Man That Can Project on your favorite podcast platform and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with our newest episodes. We'll see you again next time. 